So we came out yesterday and we got an aerial view from the roof of all of our modules. We got 15 modules up here on the roof supplying a 5 kVA inverter, right? So now, um, what, we, what, what we also demonstrated was the AC output from the inverter is following through this conduit here all the way back to the house and supplying the whole house. All right? Now, what we're also going to do is bring power to this guest house here. Okay? So that's what I would like for you guys to participate in. Um, we've got a couple of electricians here with us so they can kind of help guide us on some best installation practices. I've got some wire here and I've got some conduits that have been pre-cut, pre-measured and what I need to do is grab a tape measure because um, I want you all to take some measurements to determine which pipe goes where to ensure that they don't get installed incorrectly I've numbered them so you can cheat if you need to but anyhow um, that's what we're going to do now. David, being that we're going to put this wire in conduit uh, we're not going to pull it through the conduit with a string because there are too many bends. It'd be too difficult, right? So that means we have to basically sleeve each piece of uh, conduit sleeve over the wire. Do you follow what I'm saying? So the first step we would need to do is stretch our wire out completely. Can I get a volunteer? I didn't ignore you, but I think I'm going to save you for a different part. Now, being that we have two red wires, what we need to do is identify and differentiate the neutral from the, from the life wire. Yeah. So once you get your wire unwrapped, let's just walk it out, give them a path. Walk it out. Walk it out. Where's that walking? Hey, yeah. come on. You showing your age. Where's that walking out? <laughs> I'm doing that for you. He, 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 he oh, know how to walk it out. I ain't no walk it out. That no. was like straight. Kindergarten, first grade. <laughs> he, he know how to walk it out. <laughs> you know, ten years in, my, in our lifetime is like, yeah. <laughs> you, you know how to walk it out. I was rigid in ten years ago. All right, so we're gonna say that Gene is holding the neutral wire. And what color does the neutral wire usually have? Blue, blue, black. Blue, blue or black? Blue. Well, we got black tape, and we're gonna phase this neutral wire black for identification purposes. Is that electrical tape? Mm -hmm. You're going to do the entire... Oh, yeah. So what size of uh, wire is it? 4mm. This one. This one is 10mm. Mm. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That's right. We got it. Mm. Now, is it good enough to just phase on one end? Or should I do both ends? Both. Yeah, we should both. Yeah, yeah. So, Fidani, oh, I'm sorry, Kapense, you want to stretch your end of the wire out as well? And here we have both wires. So, as an installer, you have to conceptualize what it is you're doing. And know before you do it if it's, if it's going to work or not, if it's the best way. A lot of times, I'm sure you know, we start out doing something and we realize I should have done it another way. Um, but experience always, you know, is the best teacher. So, what I want to show you here is that if you can't take turns to kind of see, we have this, this trough right here which we will feed our wire in. The wire will come in and get into yeah. this box. Um, what I do need is a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I've got one inside. Sean, were you able to get one? 
There's one here. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, make sure we keep up with those screws. Keep this. The no, first lesson is <laughs> how to properly disconnect the system and turn it off so that we can do work safely. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, before I turn anything off or touch anything, I'm going to confirm with Kashawn and say, hey, I need to kill power. Is everybody clear? Is everybody okay? Mm -hmm. So, before we kill power, I want to confirm, the, you know, there's construction going on in the house. Make sure nobody's got anything plugged up. Let me hold on just a second. All right. Bodo! <laughs> Some people phone you know, is on. If they feel the car with the light. Excuse me, one second. Excuse me, one second. Pardon me. I'm going to go grab one thing. Excuse me. Pardon me. There's a power button right here. I'm right. You will just simply turn that power button. Which one? Right here. Down there. Okay. Now it's going to shut down. Okay. Next thing we want to do, like I said, Oh wait, uh, the it's not gonna shut down. You have to uh, flick the red switch, the one that connects to the batteries. Yeah, you also right. have to do that. Yeah. Right. So we'll turn it off first. Then we're gonna disconnect it from the battery, the battery as well as the PV. The battery will completely shut it off, though. Yeah, right. So what about if you turn mm. this one off before you put the inverter off? Uh. Oh, you turn this one off before you turn the inverter off. I think the ver inverter will actually still operate because then you will just cut off the batteries okay. to it, but it will still be getting the PV input. Okay. And so it can still operate off of PV alone. Okay. Right? So now I want to isolate the PV from the inverter. Well, let's see. No, actually that's done by turning the power off. This right here is just an extra measure of safety so to make sure that nothing is going back to the house okay now this is very important to understand anytime solar modules are exposed to sunlight voltage is being produced you cannot turn them off so the solar mod the so uh the feed from the solar panels are coming in okay up here these wires here so there's voltage right here in fact, once we get started, I'm gonna go get my meter and we can confirm that, what I'm saying. There's voltage right here from the PV module because I can't turn them off, all right? What we wanna do is utilize this additional breaker right here in order to bring power off of the, the load side here. You see how there's space? There's empty space here? Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna go and feed our guest house. These two breakers, this one is serving the main house. This breaker will be serving the guest house. They are connected in parallel. You see the jumper cables? One from here, and then one from here. And then he's got another, yeah, and then another to pick up this other additional breaker. This is what we would call spare. If we want to later come down and uh, expand the system and add an additional load to our solar power system. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Additional load as in additional inverter? No, additional, like additional. Like say another water pump, yeah. okay, okay. something like that, or yeah, some flood lights. Okay. So you yeah. feed the, the, that spare into the third breaker there? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So uh, we should be fine. As far as safety wise, we won't, we'll have um, one of our, uh, I'd say more experienced uh, electricians to make our connections while well, you all can most certainly observe, but for the rest of it, we will run our wire out through this chase here and through the, uh, the conduits. So I think why, why is it on this thing, this, this two, this one, this one, this two? Because are they, are they, they all going they are. To, yes. the, to the modules? To the modules. Okay. They're in parallel. Okay. 
because electricity has two paths to travel, either down this wire or down that wire. Exactly. The neutral is too. Yeah. Well, this is DC, so it's positive and negative oh. instead of light and neutral. Okay. Positive and negative. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, so from here, it goes into the house. Is yes. there another um, breaker? Uh, yes, MCD or okay, that's the box. Yeah. The, right main, the, the main. When we go back up, we'll look at it. Okay. There's a uh, there's a breaker box okay. right on the front. Okay, okay so. This is what's going to happen. And doing it this way, it gets. So, on each one, on each one, you will. So, if you buy, let's say, one, one just one panel mm -hmm. with the battery, you have only one of these. Yeah. Uh, only you one have a small um, of this. You have a small well, you can one. get yeah this, like this two pull yeah. and is it possible you, this one is I'm on will it be a mon when you buy no no no, no 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 or this you, separate you buy yeah, separate separate the, the, it doesn't come along system, with this these are the most important this and this the back and the, yeah. this one you buy it yourself from yeah. any store yeah. so this will pre prevent the battery from yeah. overcharging yeah. Oh, okay so if you don't buy it and what's the name of that this is an inverter inverter and okay, here he doesn't have the charger. Yeah, the charge controller. The charge controller. Yeah, because this one, this one is inverter charger. Mm. This one, it's a combination of the two. Ah, uh, okay. The and some inverters are only inverters. Okay. The charger is inbuilt. This yes. one is inbuilt. Yes. Okay. Alright. So you just fix the cord. Yes. To it. And that's it. But um, when you have the inverter and the charger separate. Mm -hmm. The panels will come okay, in the charger okay. before going here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So about without the um the inverter too, you can use it. No. You can't use it. Yeah. Because the inverter will turn D C to A C. No, without the inverter you're not going to use it. Yes. Yeah, we can the inverter will turn your DC to a C. This is a story. This one is the best story. This is the job. Yes. Okay. The job, the job yes. The way they teach you, so you make it, it look dangerous for you. If you yeah. run around, it's easy. So now, yeah. Yeah. this storage, that right is storing the power from the panel to here. So, yeah. so that in the evening, when the sun is not shining, you can use it. Mm. Okay. Is this the manual for? Uh, uh, convince her you want to give you nine hand to make sure that that will be safe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Negative, yeah. Positive two in our and the way panel. Yeah, where panel, okay. Two black, two red. Like, what is our top panel now? No, 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 no,